the topic of four C's in e-commerce. This PPT is prepared by me, Shuchi Shmita, and my teammates, Boshaki, Tanushri, and Shurika. Please the slide, please. Okay, so in this PPT, we are concerned about uh, this main five subtopics. First one is an introduction to e-commerce. Then the four C's, those are converges, collaborative computing, content management, and lastly, call center with a little conclusion. Change the slide, please. So let us first understand what e-commerce is. So e-commerce or electronic commerce is the buying and selling of goods or services or products or transmitting of funds or data over an electronic network uh, popularly known as internet. So these in business transactions occur either in business to business, business to customer or consumer, customer to customer and lastly customer to business in this phase. So first one is business to business. In business to business, businesses sales goods or products to another business. Then business to customer. In this, business sales their pro products or goods to a particular customer consumer, like in Amazon. Then customer to customer, here customers sales their products to another customer. Then customer to business. Here, customer sales their products to the business, and there are another two kinds of transactions. One is business to administrator uh, uh, and customer to administrator. In business to administrator, businesses sell their services to government bodies, and in customer to administrator, customers or consumers sell their products or services to the government bodies, like uh, filing the taxes. Now change the slide. So, in uh, previously, four piece concept was very popular in the e-commerce field, and those four P's are product, price, place, and promotion. But this old concept has been replaced with a new concept, which is popularly known as four C's. These four C's are convergence, collaborative computing, content management, and call center. Since the slide, please. So, uh, first is convergence. Convergence is the integration of two or more independent entities, and then it forms another new system or device. So, in e-commerce, convergence can be described in three different ways. So, first one is technological convergence. In technological convergence. A device performs many types of functions and delivers many formats of content. In this, two or more independent technologies integrate and form a new technology. Like in our smartphones, we can click photographs or we can call someone, we can record videos. So these three functions are independent to each other, but they are merged in a particular device called smartphones. Next one is media convergence. In media convergence, content is provided in many formats, like news available as text audios or video format in print or digital forms. Then lastly, we have network convergence. In network convergence, a network receives and transmits many formats of content. Fixed broadband network processes voice, video and data, offering multiple services such as telephony, television and the internet. Thank you sir. The next part will be continued by my friends. Next slide please. Okay. Uh, thank you Shishmita. Uh, good evening sir. My name is Shaikar Aik and I will be explaining the concept of collaborative computing. So, in simple terms, collaborative computing is a phenomena where technology is used to perform group work. A very good example of collaborative computing is what we are doing right now. now. We are communicating and sharing resources through Google Meet and thus performing group work using our individual system. This becomes a perfect example of collaborative computing. Now, this technique is extensively being used nowadays in schools and colleges as well as in big organizations. 
after lockdown due to uh, COVID-19 pandemic, collaborative computing has become one of the daily routines of most people. It also paved the way for virtual work or work from home process. Now, collaborative product development enables project and design collaboration for globally distributed teams and simultaneous collaboration refers to software that enables real-time editing. For example, Google Sheets, where many people can edit different data simultaneously. Now, the next part will, of the presentation will be explained by my teammates. Thank you. Thank you, Shrikat. Good evening, sir. My name is Boishaki Santra, and I will be continuing with the content management. So the content management system is a software application or the set of related programs that are used to create and manage digital content. The CMSs are typically used for enterprise content management that is ECM and web content management that is WCM. And ECM facilitates collaboration in the workplace by integrating document management digital asset management and records retention functionalities and provides end users with role-based access to the organization's digital asset. Moreover, ECM software often includes a WCM publishing functionality, but ECM web pages typically remain behind the organization's firewall. Our WCM facilitates collaborative uh, author authoring for uh, websites. So both ECM and WCM systems have two components. That is, first is a content management application, CMA, and second is a content delivery application, that is CDA. So the CMA is a graphical user interface that allows the user to control the design, creation, modification, and removal of the content from a website without needing to know anything about HTML. And next is CDA which uh, it is a component that provides the backend uh, services that support management and uh, delivery of the content once it has been created in the CMA. So CMA, that is content management system, thus reduce maintenance costs, then simplify content management, save time and efforts, and can complete, have complete control over content, and it is SEO friendly. Thank you so much, sir. The further will continue by my friend. So the last part is the call center. Basically, the role of e-commerce call center uh, call center is to increase the sales, answer questions, and resolve problems either before the sale or after a sale. E-commerce call centers can be set up with the primary function of customer service, customer support, or sales, cloud-based phone systems, and e-commerce call center software make it possible to turn our call center into contact center that offers multiple communication channels for customer convenience so some of the benefits of call center software for e-commerce are first called resolutions taking payments securely providing consistent experience for customers routing calls faster increasing the sales conversion rates brand loyalty enhanced productivity and efficiency and capability for remote teams and distributed teams so e-commerce is an electronic transaction which happens over the internet it still represents one of the business methods that take advantage if done the right way even when the stock market and commodities fail but e-commerce still able to survive and receive high transaction e-commerce has undeniably become an important part of our society it is a helpful te technology that gives customer consumer access to business and companies all over the world ERP that is enterprise resource planning is a software which is used to manage and integrate the essential parts of a business ERP is the most reliable system for data management, ensures reliability, uniformity, transparency and visibility across the organization. ERP works by integrating all different departments in an organization into one computer system, allowing for efficient communication between these departments and to enhance 
productivity so these are the references or the sites from which we took help and thank you so much sir thank you very good presentation